Sierra owns a motorhome that she parked um, very close to um, my client's home. Um, he has two children, young children. They would walk by this motorhome every day. Um, the motorhome is very run down. There were piles of trash around it. Um, a lot of, when I went out there, um, there's, it smells of urine, there's defecation. Um, it's, it's not a safe place to be there. When I talked to witnesses in that area, business owners who have called PPD numerous times on this RV, um, it, it was, there was partying. Um, I'm not suggesting it was necessarily by Ms. Hoekstra, but certainly a homeless population that had gathered in this area was be it was becoming a problem. Mr. Kinwell made a very poor choice, however, in his frustration and seeing this every day and hearing from his family, their frustrations. Um, he made a small device out of PVC pipe and put some um, gunpowder type material in there. He threw it at this motor home. It didn't ignite. It, didn't, it just kind of rolled and didn't go off. Um, however, understandably, that caused an immense amount of fear for Ms. Hoekstra and those other people that were also living in this motor home. Mr. Kidwell realized what he had done. He came back to them, apologized profusely for what he did, and Ms. Hoekstra had told me he did this, apologized. Asked what he could do. They said they wanted some food and beer. He went to the store to get um, some provisions for them. When he came back, PPD officers were talking to Ms. Hoekstra and another individual there I'm actually two other individuals there on a completely unrelated matter. Not sure what the matter was, but some other disturbance in the area. When Mr. Kidwell came back, the police said that's him. He then, the, the police officer talked to him, he admitted what he did, um, and went from there. The police officer notes in his report he was very compliant. 